Om Shanti and welcome back to your blessings channel and we're going to talk about 4th of June Godly Blessing where Supreme Father says that even defamation can be turned into any form of powerful affirmation. Let's find out what does he mean to say by this. Godfather says that may you be a charitable soul who transforms sorrow into happiness and defamation into praise. How do we do that? How do we face somebody defaming us and still turn it into a praise. Let's find that out. A charitable soul is someone who never causes sorrow or takes sorrow from anyone. If you are a person who is using affirmations, self-affirmations for your own strength, for your own power, you automatically are using spiritual affirmations such as I am a powerful being, I have the power to tolerate. Why? Because I am God's child. And I have understood the three aspects of time. I have understood what I have done in my past for which I have to face the present. And in the present, a person could defame me. Why? Because I have done that negative act of karma in my past life. So I have to face it. I accept it. So with the power of acceptance, with the power of tolerance, with the power of knowledge, we understand that even defamation can be turned into a praise. So... A charitable soul is someone who never causes sorrow or takes sorrow from anyone. Anybody can say anything about you, but if you're soul conscious, you automatically get that power to accept anything which comes your way and not throw it back. There's a very wonderful saying, a powerful saying, that a foolish soul will take revenge. A knowledgeable soul will forgive, but an intelligent soul will ignore and give good wishes to that being. So, which category are you in? Think about it. So, God says, Instead, he takes sorrow in the form of happiness and considers defamation to be praise. You can understand that one is a charitable soul. Make the lesson constantly firm of seeing a soul who insults you or causes you sorrow with your merciful form just like the father and with the vision of mercy that the soul is suffering from some ailment the soul is suffering from wants and desires and when it's not getting fulfilled it's getting irritated or angry or frustrated and it's throwing that onto you that means that soul has got a disease of the mind so when somebody's got disease what do you say oh, so sad poor person is suffering so similarly when this disease of the mind why don't we say the same thing that person is suffering from anger this person is suffering from ego this person is suffering from jealousy why do we take it that way if somebody is having some kind of hurt or a pain and if you touch that person's hurt and that person shouts back at you what do you do you understand oh I did a mistake right but in the case of somebody who's got mental issues and if you did something because of which that person shouts back at you why don't we think of it as a as kind of a hurt in that soul a pain in that soul a wound in that soul's intellect mind that because of which that person or that soul is shouting back or defaming us or talking back to us see there's a difference right because we think of everything on a physical basis so we take it consider it as okay a physical hurt fine i can see it but since we can't see a spiritual hurt soul, that there's some ailment in the soul, say there's some disease or virus in the soul and because of it that soul is crying out in terms of anger, in the form of ego or jealousy or hatred or something. In that case, we should learn and we should adopt the same manner of accepting that this person has got some hurt within and if that person is shouting or crying, accept it with this knowledge. So then God says, make the lesson constantly firm of seeing a soul who insults you or causes you sorrow with your merciful form. Same mercy we have to show. And with the vision of mercy, not with the vision of criticism. That one may insult you, but just offer flowers to him. Flowers doesn't mean that you literally buy flowers and you offer that on or put a garland around that person. That person will get even more angrier. Flowers over here means pure good wishes, good thoughts and blessings towards those people who are doing that to you. 
So why? Because that makes you stronger and powerful and peaceful in your mind. So it's like a self-protective mechanism by offering good wishes, by offering good prayers to that person, by praying to God that may this person's hurt within the soul, within the mind be healed and this person may become complete or whole again. This is what God wants us to do. You will then be called a charitable soul. So what exactly is charity is what this is all about. Spiritual charity, the true charity and a long term charity. If you too want to become like this and you want to have that power, that strength within you so that you can also do this form of charity, then this is the highest form of charity which you can do. How do you do that? For more learning, do join the 7 day course at Brahma Kumari Center. This is Om Shanti.